the skill set you have now, wide receiver. It seems like you guys, you have a, a bunch of guys who can do several different things. What do you think about the depth and the versatility you have at wide receiver? You know what? I'm, I'm pleased with it. You know, the neat thing is, is we do have a lot of different skill sets, and we're finding out who can do what consistently the best. And then from there, we'll play chess and get those pieces where we need them. Um, so not everyone has the same skill set. Uh, everyone has different things, so we're going to find out exactly who does what the best, who does what maybe not as good, and get those pieces in the right places, and that's how we're going to play football this fall. Where is North at right now in camp, camp compared to where North was last year at this time in camp? It, it's night and day, just from a knowledge standpoint, just knowing the expectations. I don't have to push him for effort and things like that and how we play our style. He already knows that. Now it's just tweaking all that, that his skill set, tweaking those techniques and, and tweaking that, uh, that mentality, being a better leader, all those things. So he's night and day, which I expected him to be. Coach said he made, there may be an update on Cody Blank today. Is there any update on, on Cody Blank? Not yet. As far as I know, he had an MRI. We haven't got the results back, and I'm sure Coach will let you know when we do because I want to find out as well. Could this be, you've worked with a lot of wide receiver groups before. What yeah. makes this group so special compared to the rest you've been with? You know what, they were all special. Um, we'll see. You know, those other ones are in the books. They were productive. They were some of the best in the country at the times I had them. I've been blessed. I have some good players. Uh, time will tell with these guys. Yes, we have the potential. Yes, we have the ability. Do we have the same mentality? Do we have the same work habits? I think we do, but time will tell, and we'll, we'll put it on paper, and uh, we'll find out if we have the best. Have they been clicking with the quarterbacks in practice so far? What, do you, what have you seen from that so far? Um, up and down right now, day three, I think. Uh, up and down, it's a lot different than throwing in the summertime when they're on their own. You know, now it's period five or period six, and they've already done five periods of hard stuff. Now we go to routes. So, you know, it's up and down, but I think little by little we're getting more consistent. Guys are getting more comfortable with each other. You can see it. It's just not the consistent level that we want yet. So one day at a time with that, I think we'll keep getting better. Zach, the competition level at the wide receiver core, how close is that to what you guys want team-wide? Um, Close. We still want more, even in my position. Yeah, but but we're getting there. You know, every coach always says in recruiting, we can't we can't redo this roster in, in two recruiting classes. You know, we, we need three, and we need four, we need five, and then I think uh, team wide we'll have that competition we're looking for. But it's a fun competition. You know, it, it's 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 a good competition. It's not a bad competition. So these guys are competing. They're going to both get better faster rather than this guy's not going to coach that guy just because he wants to play more. Make, you know, it's a different, a healthy competition, which is what we're striving for. So it's close, not there yet, but close. Sleeping better already this year? I know a year ago you kept joking, or maybe you were serious, that you're getting no sleep because yeah. you didn't have anybody to play backup slot or whatever if somebody went down. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I think I'm getting more sleep just because the, the, the old guys are bleeding down the expectations a little better. We're still so young and so just it takes more than a year for that culture, but I'll I tell you what, we, it's night and day from a year ago. I mean, hopefully you all see it when you're out there. It's a different, whole different culture, whole different mindset. How's Marquez North handling the leadership role as just a sophomore? Um, good, still growing into it. I'm not sure Marquez is just a natural leader. He's quiet by nature. Um, but you know what, he's also had a goal for himself to be a better leader this training camp. Um, you know, I think his word for training camp was he wanted to be, his word was fuel. He wanted everyone to, he wanted to be the fuel for everyone to get them going if they had a down practice. Because he's pretty consistent with the mentality, but he's quiet and he wants to get out of his comfort zone. So he's growing. Is that Josh uh, Smith will maybe kind of be a forgotten guy in your group, but you know, Butch singled him out yesterday for how he's done early this camp. Just what have you seen from him and, and maybe what's the next step for, for him? Well, I've always, I mean, I have never batted an eye on Josh Smith. I mean, Josh Smith is going to be a very good player here. He's, you know, he's what we're looking for as far as skill set, quick twitch, uh, very, very tough. Football is very important to him. You know, I think, you know, sky's the limit for Josh. I've always said that. He had a rough year last year. Quite frankly, he shouldn't have had to play as a true freshman, but that's where we were as a program. Um, we worked those kinks out. He got that knee fixed, and we're on. And, I, you know, slow but sure, I think he's doing really well. So I don't want to get ahead of the game, but, you know, he's just – being a consistent guy right now, making some plays for us. Hey, sorry, you've hey, you already been asked about him, but Butch also yesterday pointed out big court. And yeah. What have you seen from him so far? You know what? Uh, I told, I don't want to, <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. I've been doing this a long time. As far as habits, how we do things around here, I have not had a freshman ever come in and have a first day practice, second day practice like Vic Wharton's had. 
I mean, as far as not having to get them going, as far as some of the little habits that we worked, um, you know, last year that, which also tells me the guys this summer did a heck of a job with him, helping him. Hey, here's what Coach Z expects. Do this. Trust me. Do this. And he's come out and yeah, he's doing really well. I'm really, really happy with Vic. He's just, he's a great kid too. He's, he's got a great mentality. doesn't get down. I can get in his rear end and he, he's fine with it. He likes hard coaching. He wants to get better. So he's had a really good three days. In reports the last week or so, a couple of schools saying they weren't—they're not recruiting a specific person anymore because of something they saw on Twitter. So when you're monitoring social media recruits, how can you draw the line between what's just a guy being a kid and what's kind of something you need to worry about? <laughs> That's a great question, man. You know, I think you should know that kid by, you know, the time you've spent recruiting already, right? I mean, there's red flags not just on Twitter. You know, um, there's, there's red flags probably while you've been recruiting him. So I think if you put it all together, plus some Twitter, some Facebook, then, then um, you know, then I think you'll understand. Now, some kids are just knuckleheads. They're 18 years old. You know, that's the world we live in. They might say something, and you might call them and say, man, you know, you're building your brand. Oh, you're right, coach. They take it off. But other, other kids, I think there's red flags. And, yeah, we cross guys off all the time because of that stuff. Just because? Because it was something Absolutely. you see. Absolutely. But again, we put it with all the other things we might already know. That might be the icing on the cake. You know, you're always forming it, that relationship and forming that character piece over their whole, you know, the whole time you're recruiting. What do you tell them about what to say, what to say, what not to say in social media? How much do you oh, warn them? Yeah, we just tell them you're building your brand. What do you want your brand to be? You know, um, you know everybody, they, they quite don't understand when they're getting recruited to some of the places they were getting recruited to, all the different fans that they have. They just think it's their 16 buddies in their high school. <laughs> they forget that there's also 2,000 other people that, that read those Twitter. And we have to educate them on that because I don't think they really think of it that way. So we just try and help them that way. How is Pig kind of reacclimating? Um, fine. You know what? He's had a great three days. Um, knock on wood, he's been outstanding. Uh, he's, his work ethic has been unbelievable. Uh, his mentality has been unbelievable. His play has been unbelievable. He's like a different player from last year, just as far as now he knows what I expect. So he's been great. So we're taking it one day at a time with him and just one day at a time and not putting too much on him, not too many expectations, just putting one day after the next day after the next day. And hopefully he's running out of that team with us. How advanced are some more of the guys. receivers? How advanced are some of the young receivers? Give me an example. Who? Like They're all young. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, Malone is. Um, I don't know. There's different areas Malone's advanced in, different areas that he's got no idea yet about. You know, just different intricacies of the play in position. Um, but uh, you know, I think uh, you know he's a good route runner, but he's still got some things in that his technique that kind of gives some things away. So we're working. Um, so I don't know if he's too advanced yet. This level is very unforgiving. You're not used to it until you get to it. You know, Cam Sutton and Mosley and all those guys are all good players. Coleman. And so some of the things that may have worked in high school aren't working here, even as advanced as he was. So he's up and down. Do you think Pearson has picked up where he left off from the spring? No. I think he's better. He had a good summer. Um, you know, he's still a little bit up and down, but I, he's playing a lot faster, a lot more confidence because he knows the playbook now. And that, that's now we're starting to see him play the game a little bit. We really didn't see that in team periods in the spring. One-on-ones was phenomenal. <laughs> We'd all of a sudden put 10 more players on the field and he wasn't the same guy because he just he wasn't processing fast enough. So now we're seeing him play how he is in team periods too, so it's fun to watch. So I think he's a lot better. Do you think Josh Smith is ready to, to take another step? He, he had a few drops last year, but he was getting open. Do you think he's ready to take another step? I do. I do. If he continues at the, the rate he's, he's progressing right now, I, I, I love Josh. I love his mentality. I love his work ethic. I think he's tough. He loves football. Um, he's a savvy player. Uh, I, I think sky's the limit for Josh. I think he can catch a lot of footballs around here. I really do. Just in general, how much different is the big playability you have in this receiving floor? How much easier can make him for the quarterbacks? A lot, you know, just because I think the quarterbacks are learning what each guy can do best. You know, as last year, we drew up a play and, hey, I'm throwing it there because that's what the play called for. Now they can kind of pick and choose because of the skill sets based off coverages. You know, they're not locked in, oh, I'm going to throw it over here because of a mismatch. Hey, I got this guy, he does that well. I got this guy, he does that well. So I think that they're going to get more comfortable as they learn these guys more and more. Thank you. You're welcome, guys.